All right, chilling in the rain. What up? How's it going? Uh, yeah, so just one of those days, man. Just overcast, rainy. Uh, got the got the migraine, and I was like, uh, if I can't fight it, might as well join it. Let's just go outside and just sit with it. If you're gonna if you're gonna have all this pressure in my brain i'll just go be with the pressure and at least found this garden this cool fountain it's pretty sweet <laughs> so just came out here and was appreciating some time and uh got this this old church back here and um i just i happened to read in my Martin Luther King Jr. Um, devotional today we had a, a possible client meeting and it, it was a group that serves a community they focus on serving people in need I was excited to just go just be with them you know whether I I get the chance to serve them in a professional capacity or not I just wanted to go send them some support show them some love and just be with them but that visit didn't end up happening but in anticipation of that visit I was like well let me let me shake off the tasks of the day and before I get up and go for this possible meeting let me just read a, a quick um, devotional just get my mind right get in the right spirit and uh, I had this number 44 reflection divine initiative and human cooperation the dance of the divine human partnership isn't that such a good mental image of humanity and the divine dancing to the song of creation so uh, I'll just I'll just hit the big the big bits since we're getting rained on out here we are not God no duh thank you uh, nor are we nothing I love that we are not God nor are we nothing we are not sinless, nor are we without goodness. We cannot save ourselves, but God uses us to save others. God is sovereign, but God chooses to link himself to human obedience and cooperation. Man, think about that. God chooses to link arms with us in cooperation. Chooses humanity as its dancing partner to enjoy the song the everlasting unending song of creation man if that doesn't fill you with joy on a rainy day I don't know what does God chose you as his partner so Martin Luther King jr. is careful to spell out possible misunderstandings Misunderstandings in the church and spirituality realm? Come on. Uh, in this divine human relationship, as he writes, the real weakness of the idea that God will do everything is its false conception of both God and humans. It makes God so absolutely sovereign that the human is absolutely helpless it makes the human so absolutely depraved that we can do nothing but wait for God and it just made me think God doesn't need us God spirit source the you know the name that can't be named what whatever you call 
the driving force that gives you life, that gives you love, gives you fulfillment, passion, purpose. Doesn't need us, but chooses us and does the divine through us. We are the vehicle. The one who designed the vehicle and created the vehicle needs us to still turn the ignition on, put in quality fuel, do the routine maintenance so that our our vehicle can serve the purpose for the long haul for which it was designed. And are you a solo vehicle? Are you a passenger vehicle? How many are you going to serve with the vehicle that you were entrusted with? you were so uniquely designed to care for. Man, what an awesome opportunity. What an awesome uh, blessing to be trusted with so much. The, the, the vehicle that is so powerful, that, that literally holds and cares for the power of the divine and can give it freely to others to change lives it is such a cool dance to be invited to so be well and get on the dance floor don't miss out Here I come, this is my time